hey guys welcome back to another video today i am going to just jump right in and do my eyebrows so i'm using the morphe brow pomade in the shade dark brown i feel like i should have bought a darker shade but we'll just go ahead and make this work all right now to prime my lids i'm going to be using this sephora concealer and you guys it's only 14 dollars. i highly recommend it because it's super creamy and very easy to blend. Now for the star of the show, I am going to be using this Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. And I'm going to be focusing on the pink colors and uh, maroon, just those little dark purple pink colors. I am going in with this bright pink color first and then blending that out. And then I'm going to be adding a purple color. But first I want to blend this out. So now I am packing in this maroon color slowly and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Now that I'm done blending that pink out, I went ahead and cut the middle of my crease to create a halo eye. And now I'm using a light baby pink color to go ahead and um, add that in there for a little bit more precision. And I am also blending in the two colors so that it doesn't look too harsh. Now here's where I messed up. I added a little bit of black to deepen out the outer corner of my eye, but I feel like Obviously, this eye that I'm blending here is looking way worse than the other eye. Obviously, in my head, I was thinking that adding that black, it was going to look way better. But um, clearly, that was not the case here. But then, adding lashes definitely fixes the issue, I think, especially if you curl your lashes correctly. Alright, so now that I'm clearly feeling myself after I put my lashes on, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into foundation. I am using, of course, my favorite L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 205. And now I am using the e.l.f. concealer. I do feel like this one's a little too light for me, but I went ahead and just blend to the extreme to get that color payoff and not look too ghost-like under my eyes. But you know I made it work but for future references I probably won't be using this one again all right now to really get that full coverage effect I go in with the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 15 and now I jump into blush and I am using the Sephora face stories palette and yeah that empty shade right there it broke on me but it's all good because I don't even use it. I use the peachy pink color in that palette. I really love how this color looks on me. Any peachy pink warm tones for blush, I highly recommend to anyone. All right, now that I'm done with blush, I jump right into the highlight and contour palette from Morphe in the shade 8H. This is one of my favorite bon bronzer palettes just because it has different shades of highlighters and different shades of bronzers. So you can use this year round. All right, now that I'm done with my face, I go ahead and use the lip liner from Maybelline Color Sensations in Raw Chocolate. And then I go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte um, Holiday Edition Liquid Lip. And finally, I'm going in with Natural Rose from Milani. 
these two combinations of lipstick honestly was really nice because I feel like the liquid lip was too bright pink like fuchsia color and then the natural rose was a light pink and mixing them just gave me the perfect pink that I wanted for this makeup look and then of course to top it off I do go in with a light gloss look at me I look great all right now for highlight I am going in with this so Hollywood loose highlighter this is one of my favorites so far because it has this pink and gold tone in it it just it goes really well with my skin tone all right you guys this is the final look let me know what you guys think i love this look and then i put on my dress super full glam for valentine's day Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.